Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Go ahead and hit the like button to this video and hit the subscribe button also so that you can stay up to date with new readings. Um, now, I'm gonna go ahead and do a reading that I was given by Basago, who's an Arsh Goetia demon, who ruled, he basically not only rules over the tarot, but he helped inspire it. I mean, he's just, he's been tied to tarot the its entire journey. So this reading is going to be one where you get an answer to your question. So um, it's got three positions. So the first position is why. So you can think of kind of what your question is going to be, what you want to ask the universe. And these cards should give you, you know, a hint at what the answer is. So the first position is why. Why are you creating life this way? And this is in regards to what your question is. We've got the Nine of Wands. So he's like standing there, got a little bandage on his head. He's holding one wand that has eight others behind him. Okay. So this is going to give a little bit of information to why things are the way that they are. Why things are going to be the way that they're going to be. Why you are creating your life this way. Okay, so the figure leans upon his staff. Here we go. Figure leans upon his staff and has an expectant look as if awaiting an enemy. Behind are eight other staffs erect in orderly disposition like a palisade. The card signifies strength and opposition. If attacked, he will meet the onslaught boldly. With this main significance, there are all the possible adjuncts. Delay, suspension, adjournment. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much how you've been living your life. Um, why you're creating your life this way. Because you've had to go through adversities and you've had to take on that viewpoint. Okay, so the second card is all about, like, this is how you're, you are perceiving the situation. This is how you've had to live your life, kind of like a wounded warrior. And, and this has to do with the energy surrounding your question, too. Why you're even inquiring about it, it has something to do with, um, you know, opposition and, peop and boundaries and fighting battles. This next card has to do with truth. It's the E, so we've got Y, position Y. This is now position E. So the truth is expectation, like what we expect the truth to be. It has to do with realizing and aligning to accuracy. Um, this will give more true information about your question. Okay, three of wands. So this almost looks like the same guy, but he's dressed a little bit better in this, in this picture. So. A calm, stately figure with his back turned 
looking from a cliff's edge at ships passing over the sea. Three stabs are planted in the ground, and he leans slightly on one of them. He symbolizes established strength, enterprise, effort, trade, commerce, discovery. Those are his ships bearing his merchandise, which are sailing over the sea. So I definitely feel like this is a good, this is a very good, um, good card to have. With discovery, strength, effort, trade, those are the ships that bear his merchandise, which are sailing over the sea. I also see a trinity here, like a, a formula of three things, you know. So this could be your personal truth along with your business enterprise. If you're asking about business or um, what your endeavors are going to bring, this is a good sign. Okay, now the last card is the S position. And that's what is in stone, like what's meant to be no matter what written in stone about your question. So this is the Nine of Cups, but it's reversed. All right, so the goodly personage is feasting to his heart's content and an abundant refreshment of wine is on the arched counter behind him. Truth. Now this is the reverse. Truth, loyalty, liberty, but the readings vary and include mistakes and imperfections, etc. Okay. So again, this is what's written in stone. Obviously this makes sense, but truth, Loyalty, liberty, but the readings may vary and include mistakes or imperfections. But in overall, this is a good sign. It's a good answer. Okay. So I think I want to pull one more card to get a resolution. We know that the truth is written in stone, but I want to see what we can see about your question. King of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed. So he sits in judgment, holding the unsheathed sign of his suit. All right. Cruelty, perversity, barbarity, perfidy, and evil intention. Okay, so I definitely feel like this um, card right here has to do with all three of these cards. This is why you're inquiring about what you're inquiring about because there's somebody that has this type of intention for you. And so I feel like for a lot of you, um, if you were to look at like this card, he's like, wait, what's going to happen? You know, I just went, I just went through it. And then the King of Swords represents the opposition that you're facing. The opposition being the evil intention that's draw that's propelling you to seek answers. I should say that. It's like the necessary dark that's gonna bring you to the light. So let's see 
going to draw another card because I want to know what happens with this person that's trying to be all up in your happy wishes and stuff. Or trying to mislead you. The King of Pentacles. Okay. King of Pentacles. So actually I feel pretty, uh, very much better feeling about this card. Being here because it shows me why this other person is trying to mess with you. Okay, the figure calls for no special deception or description. To see it, deception, literally. The face is rather dark, suggesting also courage, but somewhat lethargic in tendency. The bull's head should be noted as a recurrent symbol on his throne. The sign of his suit is represented throughout as an engraved or blazoned with the pentagram. Uh, typifying the correspondence of the four elements in the human nature that by which they may be governed. Valor, releasing intelligence, business, and normal intellectual aptitude, sometimes mathematical gifts and attainments of kind, success in these paths. Okay. So basically, this card, why it came out with somebody's evil intention is because you are destined to have this King of Pentacles experience. Um, which was just like valor. Okay, that's like victory and honor, like combined kind of. Um, realizing your intelligence. This person wanted to keep you stupid to who you were. Um, or wanted you feel that way business and normal intellectual aptitude, sometimes mathematical gifts. I do feel like um, that may be coming forward from some of you and attainments of that kind, success in these paths. So something something has to do with math and, and your path to success. I think that um, this this negative, negative intent against your success, I want to kind of just, so I see that you're going to be successful, but um, I want to see what is going to happen. Or are you with this situation? Oh, wow. The death reversed. All right. So death doesn't always mean a physical death. It can mean a physical passing, but usually it doesn't. Usually it just means the ending of a situation. Okay. So this is inertia, sleep, lethargy, petrifaction, and this other word, some, some nebulism. I don't know what that one is. Okay. So, but basically what I'm seeing is inertia, sleep, lethargy. So basically the death being reversed is this is what would be your opposition. I'm feeling like, um, with this evil intention, what they're wanting for you is to just lose ambition but you've got this king of pentacles with your success. And you've got yourself already really guarded about that success. You know, this is your why, but this is what you've had to stand on business, like stand on truth and everything. This is everything coming into alignment for you for that success. Looking out to see and then this was that that truth just like raw truth that you needed set in stone truth okay well I hope that this helped some of you kind of get 
a little bit more of an idea of what is going on with your situation and how to say, okay, if this, if your question was a yes or a no, hopefully these cards revealed something about that yes or no for you to be able to draw something upon. So I will see you in the next video. Namaste. Bye.